So this painting is going to be Chillaxin Polar Bear. I started with um, so, uh, with light blue, black, and dark green and mixed it all together to get this teal color. And I added that to the top, added a few streaks of black in there as well, and then added white to the bottom and blended it all together so you can't see where one starts and the other stops using a half inch flat brush and going side to side motion and um, don't forget to do your edges and we'll see you on the next step. So now that your canvas is completely dry, you um, we are going to add some things to the water here. And what I've done is taken black and white and mix them together just to make this light gray color. And I'm using a liner brush and just sporadically dropping in little things that might be hanging out in the water because in the ocean water, um, this is just how it is in there. So just add a few little streaks here and there, a little few lines here and there. Don't worry about it too much. Um, and, you know, just wherever you feel like they should be, just drop them in and then leave the center open. And then we will see you on the next step. So for this step, we're going to be doing an outline of the polar bear. So I've made a dot at the uh, bottom edge of the canvas, about an inch up. I've made a dot about an inch down from the middle. I've made another dot a little bit over to the right, and then another dot, another dot, and another dot, and then the other one which comes off the other end of the canvas. I am changing it. So what we're doing is we're outlining where our polar bear is gonna be. Use your chalk for this step, and um, you know, set your dots up um, how I had them on my canvas, and then you can just connect the dots to um, make the outline of the polar bear. And it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. We just want a general outline. And then I will be showing you um, how to go about um, fixing it up as we go along. But just a, a nice general little outline of the polar bear. And we'll see you on the next step. So once you're done with your design um, on your polar bear, I, I just wanted to add, you can put his little ear in and it's pretty much a, just a little higher from the bottom of his chin and just add a little, um, a little semicircle there. And then I'm just blocking in the polar bear with um, a medium gray mixture. Um, and I'm not really worried about um, what direction my brush is going in at this stage because this is just an underpainting for the polar bear. So just block him in with that gray. Go right up to your chalk marks. And um, I'm using a little bit of a darker even gray. I mean, it doesn't have to be all the same color gray, but I'm using a little bit of a darker gray for his chin because that's where the shadow is going to be. And then just block in right up to your chalk marks. When you're going around the edge of his neck, um, I don't really want hard lines, but you can sort of wisp out the hair. I'm using um, a flat brush, uh, probably about uh, a quarter of an inch flat brush there, and I'm just wisping it out at the sides at the neck so that we can um, add hair there later. Um, so just block this in. I do go up with a little bit of darker gray as well in the ear, and um, just to add where the shadow is going to be in the ear for now. But we will be adding shadows, and I will see you on the next step. So for this step, we're gonna draw in his nose. So get your chalk out and just make a square shape at the end of the nose or where the nose is going to be and it, about halfway down the muzzle there. And then we're gonna make a little uh, line that goes up a little bit and then straight down. And then we're gonna 
I, I go in and I fill in his nose with this um, black and and um, make it sort of a muted gray color. I go in again with the white and um, I just want to make it a little bit gray in case I change my mind and then that way I'm not committed if I use the black because once you use the black you can't take it away. So just using the gray there for his nose and getting the proper shape and at the end of the square is sort of like a C shape. And then I'm gonna go in with the black and I'm just gonna make a little line as to where his mouth goes. And it just goes up a little bit and then down a little bit in a, in a wavy fashion. The eye then is made directly from the bottom of the nose and it's going to be slanted up. And um, it's going to be a slit because his eye is gonna be half closed because he is chillaxing after all. And then what we're doing here is we're adding shadow, okay? So I've got a little bit of a darker gray than I had to begin with. And I'm just gonna be adding these shadows and then we're gonna be painting the fur underneath. The more layers we have on his fur, the more realistic he's going to look. So just making a little bit darker there underneath his chin, um, into his throat area and down in his chest. Uh, making it quite dark there and I'm trying to go in the direction of where the fur is going to go So he's gonna look a little bit funny at the end of the stage But um, it's gonna look really good when we're done. So just um, You can pause the video anytime um, And add the shadows um, You know where I've added them. So I want I want the light to be coming from the front of him so um, just adding those little shadows underneath um, the throat area because his head is a little bit twisted so that will be in a bit more shadow than the rest of him and put the shadows in the direction of the fur the, around the, the the nose area i use more of a dotting technique because it's there are a lot shorter hairs there so um, you know, the other way they're, they're quite a bit longer, but once again, once we get to, um, putting some more colors on him, um, we can go more with the stroke direction at that point, but just put in your shadows for now. I do put a couple of little shadows under his eye as well, up into his head where, um, the bone structure of the bear would be and into the bottom area there again. So once you've done all that, we'll see you at the next step. So for this step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of a lighter gray and we're gonna add his fur or some of his fur and just around the gray areas or the darker areas that we've already established. We're not gonna use white yet because white's gonna be saved for the really highlighted areas. And I mean, with a polar bear, um, yes, they are white, but they actually have a lot of gray in them too. So um, I'm just going around his ear there and making sure that it's fluffy around the ear, um, around the inside of the ear. And with the direction um, of the fur, it it's sort of tricky in that area, but short little strokes there. Um, just to indicate the directions and then as you go down the neck you want to use a longer stroke okay um, and we we really want to establish those stroke patterns when you go to his head um, area you want shorter strokes so more of a dotting fashion I also decided to fix the his head a little bit because I felt like I had it a little too pointy on the top though I may end up having to um, go over that again because I feel like it's still a little bit pointy. So we all make mistakes. Um, and then I'm just adding a little white around that eye area there a little bit just to highlight it a little bit um, or the gray mixture. And again, I feel like um, my, my head's still too pointy so I still probably will fix that up on a later step. That's why I said don't worry about the chalk too much because, or where how your design is because we will be fixing it up as we go so now i'm just adding the um, gray to the top of his nose just a little bit below the eye there and down um, the side where his cheekbone would be and then also um, 
where I feel like the other structures of his head would be. And I'm using the short strokes around the facial area. And then when I get to the nose there, I am using um, the a dot technique. So I'm filling in his nose now with the black, a little more black, also adding a little uh, nostril in there as well. Um, and now I'm just dotting in a little bit around his chin area and you can you know just short little strokes up there because you know they're really short hairs and then as you go down the side here i'm using a little bit of a lighter gray there because that's where the light will be hitting the bear from um, and then just follow along where your um your dark shadows are do not kill all the gray in between um, we have to establish um, and do this in layers because the more layers we can do on this fella, the more realistic he's going to look. So um, again, the darker areas on the other side, I'm adding a little more white now, just establishing where the fur is, or a lighter gray, sorry, and the direction of the fur. And we have to remember that this fella's wet, okay? He's in the water, so we have to remember he's wet. <laughs> And uh, I've never painted a wet polar bear before, so this is a first time for me as well. But just wherever you feel like, um, you know, those, um, those lighter strokes should go is where they should go. Um, and again, shorter at the top and then longer toward the bottom of or the base of the neck. So now I'm going to go into the um, nose and add the black here and um, add a nostril in there as well, just so we have an indication of where that's going to go. And as well as the, the little piece that comes off the nose, I can't remember what it's called, but it separates from the nose to the mouth. And I'm also dotting in there because if you look at any animal in the, in the schnozzle area, it, they'll, it'll definitely be darker there as well as underneath the chin. Um, so I'm kind of just putting a mustache on him, I guess, if you really want to know how I feel about it. Also darkening up in the ear just a little bit, making it a little bit darker on the inside. And, um, and then I'm going to go around the, uh, and I'm going to actually put in just a really light mixture of the gray for his eye because he's really just sort of sunning himself it almost looks like and he's relaxing and he's looking pretty cozy and comfy so um, just adding a little bit um, into his eye but not a whole lot and we will come back to the eye as well I do add a little bit more dark here a little more definition there in the corners of the eye and then we will be coming back in again with the with the um with the lighter color at in the next stage probably so we'll be fixing it up i just want to establish and make sure everything's in the right place and then i'm going to go in to his ear area and i'm just going to add now i'm adding a little bit of white to the ear it's an even lighter gray just so i can um, see where my highlight's going to go there. And I have to have the direction of the fur. So start, like I said, with the lightest area and then establish the, the, um, the darker fur. The ear to me is looking a little big, so I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that, but, um, you know, maybe this guy just has big ears. So everybody's not the same. I might have to make his head a little bigger now, but Hey, it's all okay. It's all a learning phase. So, um, yeah, so just do that, and then we'll see you on the next step for um, the next layer. Okay, see you in the next step. So we're just going to continue to work on the fur of the bear. So I'm starting with a lighter shade of gray and my small round brush, as you can tell from the little puddle of tiny bit of puddle of gray I have, lighter than the rest that we've done. And I'm just highlighting and dotting around the ear area. Um, and filling in a few little extra fur, little hairs um, around his, his ear and trying to make it all um, fit in together. And then again, just um, going in with that brush around the darker areas that we created at the beginning uh, because it's going to be layers of fur as well and you know, just trying to make everything 
fit in. Um, so, um, with these bears, I mean, their hair is so super thick. Plus, he's white or he's wet, and I've never done a wet polar bear before. So, um, so it's a little, it's a bit of a challenge for me too. Um, and um, I just, you know, I want him, I want him to look good when he's done. So take your time if you need to, you know, pause the video and take your time. That is a okay. So now I'm up to his eye there. I just want to highlight a little bit around the eye area and just bring that to life a little bit more. Um, he's fairly shadowed on the nose there, so I'm leaving that alone and going right to the top of his head there and trying to um, highlight around the bone structure um, on his head using short little strokes there. Then I'm gonna go into the nose, add a little highlight on the nose, and just um, make sure that I've got um, that right, and also a little highlight down the side of the nose as well. He's a cute little fella. Um, Anyway, a little few dotting motions, a few little hairs around the mouth area, and and then a little bit of highlight around the top of the nose as well. And um, I feel like he would have, you know, not such a straight line on his head, so I fixed that up a little bit. And then going into his chin area, and adding a few little hairs in there, little highlights in there, because that where our, that's where our light source is coming from. So, and use your fingers too to dab a little bit. So I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. If you are, please do like and subscribe. Um, it's how my channel grows, and I just want everybody to know that they can actually paint, and um, you know, it makes me happy. It makes me super happy, actually, when I see um, people who send me pics of what they've done and who are surprised by what they've done. And because, you know, um, it's all just practice and figuring out your lights and darks. And nobody's perfect. And art is in the eye of the beholder. And I just feel like, um, you know, nothing is perfect. And... I, I can't stress that enough. And, you know, um, I, I just think that people are so, end up being so proud of what they, they've they done. And, and I'm proud of them too, because they never thought they could do it. So, um, so to me, the satisfaction is seeing, you know, someone else who's done a, a beautiful painting that they can hang on their wall and say, you know what, hey, I did that. So anyway, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. So, back to the painting here so still just you know adding that extra coat with that light gray um keeping those dark areas intact um just for shading uh purposes or um shadow purposes and um so just continue doing what you're doing here i'm going to add a little bit of black a few little black uh or no i'm still in the white adding a few more highlights to the eye there um, and keeping the shadow on the side there because that's where his head would be and just dotting in there too. You know, it's just, like I said, it's just layer after layer. I just don't even know um, how else to describe it, but just take your time and um, scrub out with your fingers because that always helps. That's going to be his chin area. And again, I think I'm using my liner brush here just for the smaller hairs at the face there. And a few more hairs under the chin. And closing up that little gap in the mouth there. And again, just going up, making this all a little bit lighter in there. And wherever you feel like, you know, you need some, and I'm putting in some more black dots here now, some more shading in there. Just another layer. And all those layers underneath end up all peeking through once it dries and it gives it a lovely effect. I've added a few little darker marks around the eye area. 
um, where the skin or the hair might be creased a little bit. So it may look a little darker, giving him a little eyebrow. He looks like he's enjoying his day out in the water. So that's what was important to me. And again, going in with the highlights on the fur at the base. And so just continue doing that. And then we will go on to the next step, adding a little darkness in the nose there. So I will see you all on the next step. So for this step, we're just going to put, I've got a little pile of yellow ochre there, and we're just going to add that onto the little pieces that we did in the water with the gray. I just felt like they needed a little bit more color. So um, just to add a little light touch of that yellow ochre or whatever yellow it is you have with your liner brush. And um, just to add a little lighter touch to, um, to the water there, to the things in the water. And then I will see you guys on the next step. Okay, everyone, so we are pretty much on the final step. Um, so I have got my straight white now and I've got my round brush and I am just adding in um, straight white, okay? Um, I'm starting at the darker areas and then working my way out to um, to the um, to the bottom to the base of the bear, um, and I want it. I want his fur to kind of go in V's because it's wet, so it's not necessarily you know all laid out properly. It's wet and it's um, and it, it's dripping water so it, it would form like a, a v formation um, on his chest there so um, i'm going into the ear there i'm putting a few more highlights on top of his head there and just lightening up things a little bit where i feel like they need it and i'm going to be closing in on those shadows now or on the really dark patches as well so right now I'm just at the top of his nose and then I'm going to drag a little bit of that white down also underneath the nose. But as starting with the brightest white at the top and then dragging it down just so I can keep that shadow in his face there and then going underneath and again starting at the darker edges with the brighter white. I am going to do the um, right hand side of the bear very bright white um, i'm just adding a little bit to his eye there um, a few little dark uh, patches just because i felt like it needed it it needed something a little extra there and a little more darkness in the eye as well as touching up the highlight on his eye this bear i've made him have gray eyes just like his fur so he's a very monotone bear he's kind of just you know, made out of black and white, which is kind of cool. So um, just whatever you feel, um, maybe your eyes wide open on your bear. Um, I don't know. So and I'm, I'm also adding a few little black, um, little black shadows here and there on him as well. And I am adding another little touch of black around the eye with my liner brush and adding a little shadow, but then rubbing it on his eyebrow there. Make him have some character. Yep, and then adding a few more black pieces as well as um, I'm gonna be dabbing some more white in here as well. Around that edge and making it a little whiter at the edge of his chin there. This has been a really fun, fun guy to paint. I did get the picture off of Pixabay, by the way, if you, um, if you all are interested, if you'd have like to have a photo uh, for reference as you paint. So now I'm adding that white again underneath there. And going in again on the sides or on, the, on his fur with that thick white paint. 
and my round brush and I'm just gonna make his you know parts of his fur sparkle I think he looks like he's so relaxed and having fun and you know like I said take your time with this step um, you know I, we are going to be covering up part of those darks now so um, just so that the the fur will come to a V shape in some areas around that darkness a little bit of light here and really carrying that fur across here now I really like him he's really cool um, so just yeah keep going with that just adding and adding and adding the more the more you add the more depth there is to your painting and the more realistic it looks so not to say that mine looks you know super duper realistic but um i i quite like how he turned out um and like i said i've never painted a wet polar bear before um, but I really like the way he turned out. I'm adding a little more highlight to his ear now and a little more underneath the eye just to make that eye pop up a bit more. And around in the fur there, closing up those gaps with the white, but not killing all the darks either. There we go. He's looking pretty good. I'm kind of liking him. And you know, your bear might be completely different. Some people love doing these animals in all kinds of colors and oh my gosh, that would be so cool. I've actually never done a painting like that before, but I know that I really like those. So if you guys have done something like that, oh, please do let me know because I would love to see it. So again, just dabbing a little more, a little more whites there and coming in underneath here now, adding some more, try and make them blend in a bit, a little more than that. There you go. Okay, I'm happier now. I, I didn't like the way I was blending that, but that's turning out okay. And then underneath, just another little gap. And then in here too, just to lighten up that gap. And again, at the nose. So I start with the, at the brightest area first, and then work my way to the darker area. Or sorry, I work in the bright, on the brightest area. I work on uh, with the whitest paint at the darkest area, but then I also, um, as my brush is running out of paint, I work toward the grayer area, just so I can lighten that up as well, but not with you know complete white. Down the side here, um, I'm going in, and I'm just because it's sort of hitting the sunshine on that particular uh, piece of fur, so. Um, I thought I'd go in and also under the chin again and then again I'm brushing it up into his face except for that one area it's a little again highlighting at the top of the nose there and down the side a little bit with some dots just a dotting motion and at the base of his nose there I felt it needed a little highlight and again by the eye area just a little highlight there and i put in a little bit more for his uh, glint in his eye and then a little bit at the edge of the at the edge of the mouth as well and just try and make it all fit because that's what we're looking for. And a little rub down there. I mean, the polar bears aren't perfect. They're in the wild. So, you know, they've got nooks and crannies in them too. And they've got hurts and everything else. So a little more highlight at the base of the ear or the top of the ear there. A 
make it stand out a little bit more. And again, a little more highlight on the side there and down his mouth and chin. Again, it's layer after layer after layer. You have to be, you learn to pack your patience when you're doing paintings like this because they're not, you know, you have to stand back and really look at them and, and um, see what, sometimes you need to stand back about six feet because when you stand back at about six feet, your painting looks different than when you're right up close and you can judge it from a different perspective. So if you haven't tried that, you should try that, okay? Just take a break from it for a second, stand back about six feet and look at it and see, sometimes you can just see the spots that you, you should or should not work with your brush. So again, I'm just lightening up again with that liner brush going quite bright down the side. Now I'm going into the water and adding another little touch of highlight on top of the yellow there as well, just to brighten that up a little bit. So wherever you want, and I think I even put in a few more too, just to add a little bit extra there. But I mean, he's the star of the show. So, so I got, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Work on it as much as you like, finish it up as much as you like, stand back six feet, look at it from a different angle. And if you have enjoyed it, please do like, and subscribe. And until next time, Happy painting, everyone. Bye for now.